It's been 15 years since Will and Grace premiered right here on NBC. We're going to catch up with the stars in just a moment. But first, a look back at this groundbreaking show. A few more minutes. Oh, come on, come here, clue. Uh, each other. Will and Grace was must-see TV on NBC for eight years. Yes. Premiering September 21st, 1998. I love you. Love you. The show centered around best friends Will Truman, a gay lawyer, and Grace Adler, a straight interior designer, sharing an apartment in New York City. Oh, my God! There's no product in your hair! I'm calling 911! They, along with Will's flamboyantly gay friend Jack and Grace's assistant Karen, a sassy socialite, made up a hilarious foursome. All your closest friends? Uh -oh. Pharmacist, butler, jeweler, backup pharmacist. I hope Farmy and Backup Farmy don't find out about each other. Will and Grace made a controversial splash when it first aired with its openly gay characters, rare in primetime TV. I'm gay. What? But it soon became a huge hit. Nominated for 83 Emmys, winning 16. Its impact hit a high last year when Vice President Joe Biden, endorsing same-sex marriage, referred to the show. I think Will and Grace probably did more to educate the American public than almost anything anybody's ever done so far. But most of all, Will and Grace made us laugh week after week. I haven't been with a woman in some time, but I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> with its who's who of celebrity guest stars. Cut to me still talking about myself. Snappy one-liners. I think your car is here. <laughs> and physical comedy. It went off the air on May 18th, 2006. The curtain closed, but thanks to syndication, the laughter lives on. That's a fun look back. Deborah Messing, Eric McCormack with us now. Guys, nice to see you. Hey, great to see you. Does it seem like 15 years since it debuted? It seems like 15 uh, years since I had that haircut. In that <laughs> that is, there, there, I think you two are ageless. What's your night cream? That's what I want to know. <laughs> It definitely does not feel like it was 15 years ago. I was just saying, we in that clip, it was from the pilot, and I, I swear, I it feels as if it was just two years ago. How far into the run of the show did you realize it was going to be a really big hit? Well, honestly, I mean, I know you kind of mocked it up here. It was sitting literally in pos these positions on, on a couch like this on that set on, on the night of the pilot, kind of looking at each other going, uh, uh, not wood, but I mean, are you thinking what I'm thinking? He, he I mean, it felt, it. it felt like that. I, I was too superstitious to say it out loud, but he turned to me after we shot the pilot. I said, we're going to be you! And, <laughs> no, and he said, I, I think we're going to be together for a long time. Wow. And I got chills, and I was like, tweet, 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 you know, like every kind of, you know, superstition. Salt over your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And now, I mean, we just saw that this is a show that's also had a lasting social impact. Eric, do you like that? I mean, being part of the culture in that way? I love that because we used to be asked about it while it was on, you know, and we never, that's when we didn't want to say anything. We were just a comedy. We were just trying to be funny. But now with time, the idea that, you know, particularly, what I'm, I'm most proud of is that we always treated, the show always treated Will's desire for the perfect man as equal to Grace's desire for the perfect man. And I think that's where it was subversive. It, it dared to treat, particularly in this day and age of, of uh, marriage equality, uh, that that was the real message that came out of the Speaking show. of the perfect woman and the perfect man, that brings up Megan Mullally and Sean Hayes. <laughs> 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 I mean, who were just so funny and yeah. provided such great chemistry for you two. Oh, incredible. I mean, the, the two of them used to say that, that they were sort of the... The, the funhouse mirror of, uh, of, oh. of us, like the vaudeville version of us and what I mean the four of us whenever we were together it just it just happened and you can't plan that it just it was it was luck you, you, know? were, you were there man I mean stage 17 was like a sandbox so, with the, the, the four of us but you know it was nice it wasn't in an exclusionary way a lot of times you get chemistry like that in a crew and anybody who comes into the set is kind of the outsider mm -hmm. you were not like that which I thought was really nice Sean Hayes was here recently he's got a new show on NBC he had a little message for you guys let's take a look Hi, Eric and Deborah. It's Sean Hayes. I don't know if you remember, because um, we only said first names on the set. But um, I miss you guys. I love you guys. Um, I, I was invited. I don't know where you are, but, why you're here, but I love it. Uh, uh, call me, and we'll all get together next Friday at our favorite restaurant. So you have to figure out what that is.
Don't tell Sean, but you two actually do still get together when you're in each other's towns, right? Oh, we, right? Don't, we don't tell Sean. You don't? <laughs> and, and so that's, that's, yeah. Don't, <laughs> America, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Um, He's not invited. Yeah, we well, you know, when we we don't get to see each other a whole lot, but when I'm in New York, particularly, it's it's always it always seems to be around your birthday or my birthday. But we we tend to we get do. together and have dinner and your birthday and dinners. Keep it cash. Let's end on a real up note. His most most annoying habit, and, and then your most annoying <laughs> habit. <laughs> then oh I'll do God. yours. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm just <laughs> um, uh, I can't. I I can't come up with annoying. I can. I because he has a whole list. <laughs> I go, oh. what, do I really? No. Wow! No, no. I was drunk in that pre-interview. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I can't come. Up I can't with say it was annoying, but I did love Deb's Deb laughing at uh, in the middle of a scene. Deb laughing at, at her own stuff sometimes. <laughs> Deb laughing at what I just did. It wasn't annoying at all. It was fantastic. I I, I enjoyed us all. I yeah. thought it was all really really funny. And, yeah. He good. kept us all very excited. He would jump up and down like like a pogo stick <laughs> before we went out every single, and it was it was fantastic. It was the nineties. <laughs> but yes, it was. <laughs> we'll end on that shot and leave that image up for everybody. It's great to reminisce. Thank you so much Thank for being here. It's great to see you Thanks. both. And we should mention We TV is running mini marathons of Will and Grace through the end of the year. Yeah, we know Deborah's gonna be watching. That's right. Oh, God, that was so great. You were so funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be back with Kathy Lee and Hoda a little later on.